that the most ever? No, but it's still really good. Okay, absolutely. Had nine different workshops, and people have just been excited. We've just been excited about learning new techniques, um, everything from gardening to we had um, Officer Lincoln show people about how you should love your block and love your landscaping. And it's just been Did Miss Walker do the canning season? No, no she, we gave her a year off. <laughs> we gave her a year off, okay. although she does have canning stuff. Yeah, over, over there. there. Yeah. We, uh, we had edible flint here do a workshop. Bring in some of the leadership. We had one on fruit trees. We had one on um, a wonderful, huge project so did up did up at Max Brandon Park last oh, year sure. with, uh, with the Reverend and he's going to be winning the Grand Prize. Oh my goodness! So after this, we oh, okay. go right into our awards program. Okay. Yeah, we've got another event to be at uh, 12 o'clock, but I'll hang around as long as I can and make sure. Karen, just thank you so much for all you do. This is a great program. Are there still some mini grants out there? Yes. Why don't you talk about that? Uh, mini grants are still available. In fact, you can go to our website, Keep Jefferson County Beautiful. Actually, it's not that. It's kbcv.net. We've shortened it. And go to the mini grant section. You can download the mini grants. Uh, you have one more week to get it. Next Friday. What did it allow you to do? Maximum, uh, maximum amount is between five hundred and a thousand dollars. Okay. And it's for general beautification. It could be gardening. It could be everything from gardening to graffiti removal. If you want to draw a mural, anything that you think is beautification. And if, if you have a question about if it will go, give us a call and we'll let you know. Because the expertise runs high at that level. <laughs> We've won one or two of those in the past. I know. And you've been, it's just been great. And I think we did a mural. Mm -hmm. And then there's another one that we've adopted a lot. Kind of ways here. So anything, folks, that would beautify the city of Flint, or if you're outside the city of the county, you don't have to be a resident of Flint. But the block clubs can do this, churches can do this, and if you're outside, and a bunch of kids get together, a school could do it. So go ahead and get on the web if you can to give us that thing again. www.kgcb.net And if you have questions that can't remember all the long initials, you could call this number, folks. Get a pen. Quick, quick, quick. Here's a pen. Get it? Paper? Here we go. 767-9696. Perfect number. 767-9696. And then you can get information about the grant submitted by Friday at 5 o'clock p.m. That's when the big hand is on the 12th. That's when the door locks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Typically you get about how many? Like oh my gosh. Uh, no, last year we had 75. Woo! Big time. Okay. Give out about how many? Uh, last year we gave out almost 60, but this year we're going to be giving out a few more. Oh, okay. Competition's going to be great. Uh, yes. Okay. We've got some new programming this year, so new programming on tree tenders and working with Formar for some summer programs where you can have young kids in summer camps take a day trip out to Formar. I, I probably need to talk to him. I, 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 I believe you do. My mind's starting to race. I only got three brain cells, but they're off running in different directions. So thank you so much. Thank you so kindly. We're going to get Bill over here. Okay. Thanks so much. Bill, you want to pop over? Hi, everybody. International Academy of Flint, 2820 South Saginaw Street. Come on, give us a call. 600 5000, 600 5000. And we will gladly, gladly talk with you about enrolling your child in our school. I would love, I don't do anything all week, you know that. I just sit around waiting to give a tour. So come on down, we'd love to give you a tour at International Academy of Flint. As you know, one of the top charter schools in the state of Michigan, and that's a fact. And that we've got documentation to prove it. So we're not bragging, we're just telling you facts. Well, look who's here now. Bill, it's good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, Bill. has no idea what I'm going to ask him. Probably a product. What's the cost of aluminum siding? It's some crazy question. Like that. <laughs> Bill, tell us who you are and what organization you represent and why you might be here today. All right. That's live. That's TV. Thanks, Art. <coughs> this is Bill Hammond. I'm the Executive Director of Salem Housing Community Development Corporation. And we're here as part of a... Keep Genesee County Beautiful Conference again this year. We're promoting the Community Tool Shed, which is now our fourth year. 
Last year we had over 450 individuals and groups come and make use of our community tool shed. So if you've got a big job that you're trying to do in your neighborhood, if you've got a lot that you're cleaning up, maybe you're starting a community garden, maybe you've got a park that you're taking care of that uh, is not being tended like you'd like, come on down, make use of the equipment of the community tool shed. It's there, available free of charge for anyone in Genesee County, and we just love to have you come. We've got rakes and shovels and hoes, and we've got big equipment, we've got power equipment, we've got lawnmowers, we've got a rototiller, a large rototiller, we've got a zero turn mower, we've got a billy goat walk behind mower. All those things are available for people to use. If you're going to use some of the big power equipment, we've got classes where we give you training, and we'd love to have you come out and uh, make use of it. It's here, it's a community resource only ask for a little bit of money for the gas, otherwise it's totally free. So if you need help with the project, come on down. The other group that I'm here working with today is Flint, our community, our voice, which is a community newspaper that uh, has been published now for almost a year and a half. Oh yeah. We're coming out about every uh, other month and we have people that are helping us to distribute the paper and we're always looking for more. And if your community group would like to earn a little bit of money, you can help sell advertising for us and we'll give you a portion of the advertisements that you sell. So give us a call at Salem Housing at 785-5340 and we'll fix you up. Bill, I had to walk away and see if I could locate another cat. I have used personally at Weaver School at International Academy when we do our summer stuff. We've used her tool shed and it's just a blessing. And uh, I think that we used rotor tillers. I think that's what we needed last year and I found that I got a couple of them. And I returned them and they were still working when I gave them back, which is already amazing. We always then, appreciate that. <laughs> we sure did. That's a great service. But can you give us a variety of the things that you loan out and you can loan it Sure. Did you already? Yeah, we, we do loan out to individuals. Uh, uh, good share of their users are individuals that come in and borrow something because maybe they're carrying their the lot that's next to the house right. or somewhere yeah. on their block and they're just informally taking care of it. So we have people that come and use it for those kinds of purposes. But we also have big block clubs and we have groups like the International yep. Academy and all kinds of other folks that come in and make use of our equipment every year. So it's a little rental fee. There's we, we charge a little fee for gas and actually for the zero term mower this year a little bit more. We found out that it costs a lot more to uh, deliver the zero term mower and the billy goat and the big. Big. They use a lot of gas and cost you know time to deliver. So there's a little bit higher charge. We're asking twenty dollars for all that. <coughs> so the other the other uh, power equipment is just a small donation. We have a, a, a I would say two more weeks, maybe three, before we start the classes. I guess they are to use the zero turn mower. You have to have a training class. It's a hands-on class. You spend three or four hours in the classroom getting trained, and then you go actually on site and actually use the mower and get uh, some experience. And in fact, the guys won't let you go. And then when you come back to borrow it the first time, they'll give you a quick refresher. That's great. Now, folks, did you give your address on my Martin Luther King? Yes, Salem Housing is at 3216 Martin Luther King, just south of Pasadena. We're in the old Citizens Bank yep. building, if you're familiar with the area. Well, thank you for coming down and helping us with our show. You're a great organization. But they do much more than that. They're working with individual families in the neighborhood. They're repairing homes. They're rehabbing. They're doing major things. We have eight homes for sale right now. Whoa, talk about that. Yeah, we've got eight houses that are completely and fully rehabbed for sale right now. They're $29.9. We're working with Paul Raymond, realtor. So just make a phone call if you're interested. They have new everything. New insulation, new uh, wall coverings, new plumbing, new electrical. They've been totally new from top to bottom. All new windows, all new doors. There are no uh, environmental hazards, no asbestos, no lead. Completely rehab. It's a great home for somebody in a great neighborhood.
Oh, so those would be called the green home then, wouldn't yes. they? Yes. They really would. Well, I didn't know about this. Well, I knew they had them, folks, but I didn't know you were talking about that. $29,900, which is $29,900. There are some income qualifications, yep. are there? Yes, there are. On that a little bit. You have to be uh, low to moderate income, and for this region, that means uh, between 50% of the area median income and 80%. And then for the houses that are funded through the Neighborhood Stabilization Program, that limit goes all the way up to 120000 We only have two of those houses, and um, they are going to go fast. So come on, they give us a call right now. Give that number again. 785-5340. Salem Housing. Folks, Salem Housing, a great organization. Bill is their executive director, president, united in charge of everything. Chief model. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you wash models too. <laughs> yeah, completely. I, I'm right with you on the sweep of the floors and everything. And, 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 and thank the right. International Academy for the good work that you're doing in your neighborhood. Oh, my. You guys are doing a lot. And that's my old alma mater, you know, the old Lincoln School. Oh, so, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Come on by and take a look. We've made some changes, partner. I've seen that. We'd love to do it. Phil, what a great guy. So much so much good things they're doing for the city of Flint. It's an absolute complete pleasure to have him as a partner. He thinks very well of us, and of course we naturally have always thought very well of Salem Housing. I had another guest here, but he kind of slipped on by. Is he, is he ready? Michael Kelly over there. Michael? 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 Would you like to be on the radio? Michael Kelly, University, he's with Mott College. He is their communications expert. Michael, I'm sorry to do this to you. He's taking his clothes off, folks. <laughs> well, this is show business <laughs> now, why go? Paul Herring spied you. Yes. Good to see you, Paul. Hey, Michael. I had told these folks from the University of uh, Mott Community College, the communications department primarily, but your wife is deeply embodied in this event. We have yeah. her on her way. You're a board member, of course, I would presume. Yes, sir. Anything on your mind about this program, the Mott College, share with our family. I think the most interesting thing about this conference is um, to be in a room full of gardeners. I first noticed it years ago when I was with my wife at a um, Master Gardener banquet. And I, 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 you, you've been to a lot of functions, I've been to a lot of functions. We understand when people get together. But I remember walking into this ballroom, and they're probably... 400 people in there at the table sitting down to and there was this quiet, gentle hum of conversation. It was different than any crowd I'd ever heard. And I realized with gardeners, gardeners are the nicest group of people in the world. They're gentle, they're kind, they work hard, they don't mind getting their hands dirty, and there's a serenity to gardeners that I've never seen in any other group. I haven't quite heard that approach that way before. That's great. Okay, that's wonderful. Hey, uh, let's change slightly and talk about my college. Anything happening? When's new enrollment for the summer? Are, well, are you coming up there? Yeah, we're open now for enrollment. Um, actually, it opens April 1st, so we're coming right up to it. April 1st, we open for spring, summer, and fall semesters. I'll give you a, a hot flash. Our uh, men's basketball team won their game yesterday. They have the finals for the regional today. If they win the finals, they're on to the national. And as you know, they're the defending national champions uh, for men's junior college basketball. And, and, and absolutely. And I got a hunch they're going to be. <laughs> well, we're going to try anyway. That's great. Yeah, they lost maybe two games this oh, year. Three all year. Three, three all year. year. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, uh, Coach Smith's uh, just outstanding. Yeah. I mean, he always does it. Great job. Yeah. He had his 600th victory this last week. And I, I, now 601 for like yesterday. Saw the paper. Sure yeah. did. And again, Coach uh, Smith is just, he's more than a basketball coach. Yeah. He's a developing young man that's a toe the line. And of course, his placement of kids for four year institutions. So there's a number of the kids that have graduated from him and have gone out to a four year program. Of course, the last two. Has he got anybody in the program? Well, he's well, there. A number of his players are playing over in Europe right now. We have had players who have gone, gone on to the NBA. One went to the Bulls, one went to the Pistons. But that was a long time ago. Uh, but we do have a lot of players who are playing professionally, uh, mainly over in Europe, a couple guys in Asia. Remember Gene Summers? Yeah. yeah. You recognize yeah. him? That's my old buddy from a long time ago. And he was a 
great person and a great animal as well. Well, we found another guest. Very good. All right. Thanks nice to talk to you, Art. Thank you so much My for pleasure. You okay. Come on, new friend I've good never good met before. Again. Pop in here, buddy. This is right. live radio right here, Very and cool. you're being videotaped for Channel 17. That will be showing in a week or two. So uh, I know you're with some nutritional food program over there, and just I don't know all that you do, so why don't you tell us about what you do and why you're here, sir? Sure. That's the, that's the microphone. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, my name is Rick Sapper, and uh, we, we uh, met last summer actually doing the Clean and Green program. Hey, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that. I must have a different beard today or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm here today with the Genesee County Land Bank sharing some information about our greening programs and uh, the uh, sale, the housing sales that the, the land bank puts on here with Heidi Fana. And uh, I'm also a volunteer for Adam Flint, which also has a, a uh, set up here. Yeah, I'm on your email list, thankfully. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So uh, I work with the Access Net group uh, for Adam Flint. I used to concern community citizen. Grew up in the Adams uh, Family church is down on Fenton Road, so you know, I've been a part of the community. And, and the land bank and out of Flint are a couple of ways that I, I figured out I can give back to the community. All right, beautiful. Um, now you're you're one of your uh, wait one of, you're on this team. I'm from uh, nutrition over here. Oh, you're the, from the over land here. Bank. Excuse yeah. Me. Oh, with land. Of course you are. Okay. Is Heidi here too? By the way, she is. Yeah. Okay. She she's somewhere around. Oh, is Miss Profit here? Uh, uh, Jennifer. Yeah, I haven't seen her. Though. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, now, Land Bank, you guys just received uh, a major grant. Can you tell us a little bit about the 3.7 million? <laughs> I can try to. Okay, that's uh, for demolition. Yeah, I work part time right. with them. I help them do some of the mapping for it, kind of the proposals yeah, for sure. what, what neighborhoods. Um, I can probably say as much as the newspaper would be able to tell you. <laughs> I know they were, yeah, they were approved for 3.7 million. Uh, it goes for residential properties. So I know they're targeting a, a couple hundred residential properties. Throughout the city, uh, many different neighborhoods. There will be a lot, I believe, in the uh, like north of Kettering, kind of up Dupont, Civic Park, uh, Max Brandon Park, International and, Academy of Flint. Uh, yeah, in the neighborhood. Yep, yeah, yeah, There's yeah. We help with that. Right, right. Yep. There's a number right down Saginaw Street to help stabilize these neighborhoods. Yep. The idea being that you know you remove the life from these neighborhoods, it makes it more attractive for the people who are there. It's safer. It looks nicer. Increased property values. Possibly. Okay. Absolutely great. Very good. Now, is there any, you want to give a phone number for any of these services you're offering? This is Tennessee uh, County Land Bank, 767, and I forget the uh, I don't actually know the number either, but... Well, it's 767, look. look it up. 767, look <laughs> it up. Tennessee <laughs> County Land Bank. <laughs> Land Bank. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for popping over. Thanks a lot. You got me off the hook here. Right? Right. It's good to see you. Have a great day. Right. Okay. Have I got another guest coming in here? Oh, this guy dressed up special for us with his black t-shirt. That's right. How are you doing? Here? Yeah, exactly. you just yeah. right here. Yeah. This is live radio here on okay. cell phone. Okay. And you're being taped, videotaped for Channel 17. So uh, you must uh, have something. Why are you here? Take the phone and tell us. And give us your name and organization, please. All right, Thank you. Go ahead, Carl. Hello, my name is Carl Thompson. I'm from Tennessee County. Tennessee County's Metropolitan Planning Commission. I'm here really for a couple of programs that we are promoting. One of them is uh, the recycling program, and this is really a great program. We actually go out to the schools throughout Genesee County and talk about recycling, uh, the benefits and advantages of recycling, and how it can certainly uh, help everyone in the community. The other program I work with is uh, Rideshare. It's a program where we promote carpooling and van pooling, and these programs, uh, in conjunction with the other various programs throughout Tennessee uh, County, uh, help create a, a situation where people are helped all the time, is it for transportation or in recycling? So, uh, and I'd love to come out to all the schools. I've had an opportunity already to, to actually make these presentations for recycling, some of them, but uh, you know, I'd certainly like to come out to even more. I can be reached here at, uh, the number here is area code 810. 
766-6562. So uh, please give us a call about either the van pooling or the cur or car pooling or the uh, recycling program that we do. So uh, this is a wonderful opportunity as it's to be here live. Right? We, uh, we're always proud to be part of this. Well, thank, thank you. I, Carl, I had to leave you. I was trying to recruit yeah. some guests, and they yeah. bailed out on me doing no good bumps. But uh, thank you. I didn't hear all that you said, and I'm sorry. Did you, is there a phone number you'd like to give? Yeah, again, let me give my direct yeah, number. Yeah, please. Go ahead, Carl. Once again, it's a they work on endangered species and uh, food and 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 Oh, thanks for popping in. I know it's a group that you just, I just, I just grabbed you by the neck and said, come on over. So oh, hey, thanks you know, for helping us out today. Why don't you say that again? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Carl, I've known you for what, 200 years? Uh, probably 280. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, it's been so important. I just can't believe it. I thought this guy just bumped into me, knocked me down, stepped on my, my two hundred and twenty-five dollars shoes. <laughs> oh, Art man, I ain't no two hundred twenty dollars shoes. I paid nineteen dollars for them. But listen, why don't you tell us what you're doing here today? Would you, would you give us your name. You're on live radio on WFLT, and now you're being videotaped for Channel Seventeen. That's the mic. Take it, big okay, guy. Art, thank you, Art. Thank you, Art. Yes, this is uh, Jesse Davis. I'm here for the Master Gardening Program over here at the Keep Genesee County. Beautiful. I will be receiving an award for the uh, uh, garden that was uh, put over at the flower garden that was put at the Genesee uh, Intermediate uh, Library over off of Pasadena and also for the Flint Public Library. So I've been doing this now for uh, four years going on and I have my own garden site which is very beautiful and I support it. Where is that? It's in my backyard. Right. I'll be right over. <laughs> right on over, Art. Right. You know you're welcome. <laughs> yes, and, uh, and I'm just happy to be here today and I'm a member of Grace Emanuel Baptist Church and uh, we're doing some flower things. Up there, we're putting in some flowers over there at Grace Emanuel. Uh, we're getting the money from the Key Genesee County Beautiful. And if anybody has a church or has any, um, uh, there would be a nonprofit organization that, that could get uh, the grants here from Key Genesee County Beautiful. And I think they gave out over two, $2 million last year for the area. So when you're riding through Flint, Michigan, oh and you're looking around and you see flowers and trees growing everywhere, it's because of the Keith Genesee County Beautiful Program. And thank you, Art. Okay. Are you on the board at all? No, no, no. Not, not yet. You ought to be. You're yeah. a great promoter, my friend. Thank you thank for you, popping Art. in. What a blessing. It's always a pleasure to see you. Okay, see you this summer while we have work. I hope we do. All right. I hope we do. Okay, hi, everybody. We're still on the air. I don't even know what time it is anymore. I've lost track of time. I got some guests looking at me, but they won't come over. They're no good bums. <laughs> you can't come over here and say hi on the radio, Miss Kelly. Diana Kelly refuses. Oh, Diana, make this note. Diana Kelly is refusing to come over here. So we'll do the best we can. Hi, everybody. If you're listening, International Academy of Flint, open enrollment all year long. Right now, we're involved in Project Return. We've got probably about 95 to 97 percent of our kids say they're coming back, which is typical every single year. And uh, we are, Paul, you give me an idea what time we got? Uh, about five minutes. Five, five minutes. And a half Jesse, minutes. I know you listen to me in the station and you're starting to panic, but five minutes will be off the air. So, folks, International Academy of Flint, if you want to call our school for some. Uh, uh, a tour like I would be very pleased to provide you with. Any of our teachers can answer your questions. Our office staff, 605,000. Is there an easier phone number? 605,000. Y'all call now. I insist. We'd love to have you come in. Well, we're a K-12, uh, highly regarded, highly regarded charter school in, of course, Genesee County and actually uh, among the very best in the state of Michigan based upon some uh, research that has been done. And, of course, our high school is received a uh, bronze medal which puts us in the top I believe it's uh, under 20 percent of all high schools in America now that's not bad folks right here Flint Michigan we got a great educational opportunity for you and it's called International Academy of Flint K through 12 kindergarten enrollment we're going to have a great kindergarten uh, 
Open houses, uh, April uh, 9, 10, and 11, I believe. Three days of open enrollment for kindergarten children. Love to have you come by, meet our teachers, meet our lower school principal. Uh, we just, we're doing a good job. We really are. We got some great, committed, wonderful people, great leadership. Uh, Tracy Cormier is our director, and she's being replaced here come July 1 by Kendra Giles, who is going to take over while Tracy goes and does some other greater things for the Sabas organization. So we're going to uh, appreciate Kendra. She's already taken a major, major leadership role. So we won't miss a beat. We're not going to miss a beat with the leadership that we have in store for you. Well, we've got... Uh, uh, that couldn't make Miss Comer feel any good. Uh, well, she, she's just going to do bigger and better things. Uh, Paul's giving me a hassle here about who she is and what she does. But <laughs> she, she, she's been a great leader for us for uh, all the years that we've been there. Well, anyway, I'm looking around, see if I can find another guest. And most folks are running away. Uh, unless I could... How much time I got, Paul? 401, is that what it says? Okay. All right, we'll... Uh, Heidi! Want to be on the radio? Uh, Heidi says no, she doesn't want to be on. Nobody wants my radio. They want to be on it. Why is that, folks? Well, anyway. I got something for you, Art. Oh, here comes Paul Herring. He'll waste something. your time. Here he comes. <laughs> you know, I was out. Oh, that's me. That's I'm me. on the screen. Here, Paul. Take it, buddy. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, or actually, you know, that people are actually listening to this radio show. Oh, indeed. In the last four days, I've had no less than six people really? approach me and talk, tell me that they heard me doing a great job on your radio show. What did they say? about me. <laughs> Not so Not much. So much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's okay. This is the people's station. Okay. I, I was in a meeting this morning based on my badge here. I, I serve on the Genesis Board uh, organization at Genesis Hospital. And uh, one of our board members said, hey, I hear you on the radio Saturday morning. So that's real nice that we are getting out there, Paul, thanks to you. And tell the folks, do you know when we're on TV? For those that are listening, yeah. oh, when are we on? Uh, International Academy of Flint on WFLT Radio can be seen every Monday night at 6.30 p.m. on Fact Channel, channel 17. It's Comcast Channel, so you have to be a Comcast subscriber to get it. But we'll also put it up on YouTube, on uh, Spectacle TV at YouTube.com. Check it out there. This, this gentleman just came by and said, I want to thank you for cutting the lawn. Come on in and tell the people. This is live radio and you're on TV. There you go. Tell them your name, sir. Uh, David Ketchum. I live in the Ninth Ward over off uh, Old Mon Hemp Hill. And I'd like to thank Art Wenslow for getting a lawn mowed for me <laughs> on the corner of Red Arrow and Athens Road oh, yeah. the Pressman Fire Station. Thank you. Well, we do that kind of all the time for folks. And we're very pleased to help Appreciate you. It. Thank you just so thank much. Thank you for popping in. Wow, what a surprise. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. We'll help you again this summer. Very good. Thank it's you good so much. Y'all call. I will do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a surprise. What a surprise. Uh, Jesse, are you there? Tell me to shut up. How much? Oh, I got about 30 seconds, maybe? One more. Okay. Uh, we got 30 seconds. I can't do it. Oh, Come on. Just get your head in the picture here. We got a TV. On the other side. On the other side. Okay, folks. Oh, he's doing right. this. He's doing it. Look who I found. Mr. Karate here. You Mr. Got King, how do you do? We got to sign off, unfortunately. I wish I had a senior. Day. Wherever you are, folks, if you're walking your dog, if you're looking at a blog, if you're bouncing a ball in Bogota, Columbia, look at somebody and say, Woo! That is some kind of school. Bye, everybody!